Hello and welcome to the beautiful Dubai Hills Golf Club. So whilst I'm in Dubai, I'm going to be recording a couple of course vlogs for you because I haven't done it yet and I need to start. So here I am. This first one is going to be a three hole course vlog where I'm going to talk you through some of my shots, give you an insight into what's going through my mind and just show you my golf a little bit, shot by shot. So this hole here is a par four, it's 367 yards. Not too much trouble if you can hit it straight. Fingers crossed. Um, so yeah, let's go. Well, that was a result. Straight down the middle with, well, a little bit of a fade. Uh, and I've got about 150 yards left. So I think it's gonna be a hybrid. Okay, so I caught that one a little bit thin, so it went really, really low, but not a terrible result, to be honest. I'm quite happy with that. Normally, I would putt this, but I've been working a little bit on my chipping, so I'm gonna be bold and I'm gonna go for a little wedge here and try and kind of pop it up and stop it quite quickly and not hit the deer in the background. Don't like, don't like having an audience. Go. Good shot, probably didn't give it enough swing, so it ended up short. But it's on the green, so I'll take that positive. Okay, I'm really happy with that. Probably a little bit more left to right than I expected. But in terms of a result, yeah, I'm happy with that. So I've just got to finish it off now. So this hole number eight is 486 yards from the front tee. As you can see, on the left hand side there's bunkers and on the right hand side there is water which is not my friend. I'm going to hit my driver, I'm going to aim for those far bunkers on the left in the hope that I can kind of fade it round slightly, avoid my usual slice, I'll say fade, fade it round nicely. Um, and then be in a really good position for my second shot into the green. <laughs> I make it sound so easy, it really isn't. <laughs> so because it's so bright, I can't quite see where it's gone. I think it's safe. The shot shape was what I wanted it to be, a little bit left round to the right to avoid the bunkers. So all we can do is drive up there and hope that it is not wet. Not even close to the water. Okay, so I had nothing to worry about. I was really happy with that drive. It was 235 yards. I've still got about 260 left though. Um, this hole is actually a par five. So there's me thinking that I might have an easier shot into the green, but no, it's fine. I've just got to go over some bunkers. What a shot! So for me at my level, I don't believe that I could have executed that any better. I'm absolutely delighted with that. I've got 115 yards into the green now. Um, I've got a higher set of clubs with me, so it's not my own. So normally I'd probably hit a, a 54 or a 52. Um, this set's only got an S or a W. So I'm gonna go with the wedge, just the wedge. Better to be a bit longer on this hole than shorter um, because it rolls back down if you're a little bit long. So that's what I'm going to go for. Try and play a sensible shot rather than going for the hero shot. I think I've probably caught that one just a little bit fat, um, as you can probably tell here. So it didn't go as far as I was expecting. A really nice shot nonetheless. But it's just at the front of the green rather than perhaps the back or on the green like I was hoping for. So for me, I'm going to be aiming on the left. It will trickle in round to the hole. Forgetting the right hand side, obviously nothing good there. Trying to avoid the water. Hopefully a nice little 
high chip that will stop quite suddenly. Okay, so with the fact that I'm not overly comfortable in chipping, I'm not quite sure how, uh, how far this can go, obviously because it's also not my club, so I think I'm still working on that. But in terms of the execution, I'm happy, probably just again like the last hole needed a little bit more backswing. Similar to the last hole, it's a little bit left round to right, not as much, so it's a, a fairly straight putt, but just a little bit left edge, I think. Ideal, but again, really happy with that part. Probably just needed a little bit more left, but that's okay. On to the next one. Okay, so for the final hole in the three hole course vlog, it is a par three, which is always nice. Um, it's 140 yards, so I'm going to take a seven iron. Um, because it kind of rolls into the pin a little bit, so I think I might go a little bit short rather than long. So let's see. Yep, happy with that. So I know I said I wanted to be short and not long, but here I am. <laughs> I went long instead. Still pretty happy with that. Little bit off the green, but not too bad. Hopefully I can two putt this for a par. So this one's right to left, a little bit downhill. So I imagine it's gonna be quite quick, especially cause it rolled a lot when it hit the green on my tee shot. Okay, so that didn't turn anywhere near as much as I thought it would. Much hmm. all the sides of that hole then. <laughs> so thank you very much for watching my three hole course vlog. I really hope you enjoyed it. I really enjoyed filming it actually. And there's gonna be a lot more videos coming to my YouTube channel very, very soon. I'd be really keen to get your thoughts on my course management and how you found that video um, and that style of video and just getting an insight into my golfing mind, I suppose. Obviously be kind because I'm a relatively new golfer, so I'm not gonna know everything. Um, but yes, please make sure you subscribe to my channel. You don't wanna miss out on any videos. Hit the like button as well. I'd really appreciate that. And I will see you very soon.